Santiago, um, your first try last weekend for Gloucester. Um, how big a moment was that for you? No, it was it was really important. Not not on a personal thing, more on the team. Uh, for the last couple of games, we we tried to score uh, with them all. We we prepared for it and we couldn't. So I think it was more the fact that we ended up getting res getting something from it. Uh, obviously, it was it was. I like I like to if I say that I wasn't happy to to score, but obviously being in the back of the mall is more a, a team effort. So I was happy for for that. And not a bad way to mark your first Premiership start for Gloucester as well. How do you feel that you've you've settled in? Because you've had a couple of games off the bench, and then that was your first start. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, I was out of the game for for a few months uh, since. Uh, Hawares wasn't wasn't playing at all. Then had a had a couple of games with Argentina, and then again I was stand still for like I think it was like eight nine weeks. Uh, then had to come here do do a quarantine, and then he was just getting back into the game. To be fair, I go uh, into the game quite quick. Five days out after quarantine, I was playing against Bristol. But yeah, I'm I feel like I'm settling in, and then uh, I feel quite comfortable here. People is great here they made me feel welcome and and i'm enjoying it and i suppose having been in the premiership with newcastle before that must help and probably helps you understand fraser as well <laughs> to be fair i thought he was going to be a bit more of a geordie he's a geordie he doesn't have a, a strong accent but yeah i i met him before in newcastle to be fair so i i knew that he wasn't going to be super super shorty accent but then, uh, yeah, yeah, I feel I feel good here. And how different is the Premiership and slotting back into that too compared to what you what you have been used to of the last sort of uh, last few whiles since um, since leaving Newcastle? Uh, well, obviously, it's, there's a massive change from having no people in the stands. Um, they, I play a few times here at Gloucester, and obviously, I've heard the shed and I've heard the people how loud and and when I when I first uh, started talking with Gloucester, one of the first things that came up to my mind was obviously having the shed on my side this time, uh, instead of against it. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, then the league seems similar. Obviously, it's a it's a great standard, uh, and there's there's every squad had a has a has a, a few internationals and great level players, and and obviously it's, it's in that in that. Area is similar to to where I played when I when I was in Newcastle, um, and yeah, no, I feel I feel good. And obviously, after a couple of wins, it'd be nice to make it three in a row against Leicester this weekend. How tough is that going to be? Yeah, yeah, we know we know how how hard it is. They pride themselves in the in the forwards and the set piece, so we know that we need to control that. Obviously, we can target them there as well. We We've been working pretty well, both line and, and scrums, uh, last two three weeks, um, and I think there was a process. When I when I first came, I I felt that he was just taking a step by step and getting better. And obviously, the results, the first two games I was involved, he was really close and lost by, at the end. But then I felt that we were getting better, and and I know I know it's going to be hard, and and our, our guns are aiming to to get three three wins uh, and then from then on just keep working on it uh, we target these these games and we know how hard it's going to be but then we need to also focus on ourselves I think and do our thing and then I think the, the game if we do what we need to do and what we look to to do the game should should go well <laughs>